Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 23rd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us at our Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did get very overstretched on Friday. And a pullback at this point should be expected. It has found support at the 20 exponential. That is up uh, around the 92.78 um, area. And that should be as far as this goes. MACD is bullish, stochastic is becoming bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So pullback here, that could be very positive for most of uh, commodities, precious metals, also stocks, indices that have been battered uh, done recently, and um, that should be, they should expect a rally in oil and so on in the next coming days if this falls. So let's look at oil. And as you can see, oil has been falling off a cliff. It is significantly oversold at this point. We're in 98, uh, 29, uh, 28, sorry, at this current stage. MACD is very bearish, and so is the stochastic. We are getting really close to the 200 moving average down here at 60.41, and that is probably as far as we will see this go in the short term. We may see this rally up towards the 20 exponential yet again at the 67.6, and um, whether or not we turn around here completely, uh, probably, maybe, uh, that is to be seen, but should expect quite a lot of support around this area. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has hit the 50 moving average and has rallied. It rallied up towards the middle of the balloon demand and then got rejected quite heavily. So we definitely have buyers coming in here around the 50. Uh, there is still uh, weather conditions that are making demand for natural gas extremely high at this point, and that's why we are seeing this uh, massive rally, which we usually see in winter times. But the summer time, and we are seeing this rally, so we're also expecting a massive fall when all of this is over, probably in the next few weeks. But at this point, rallies from this point are expected. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is flat. So break above the middle of the bullish band, then we could head back towards a 4.19. So let's look at copper, which is looking very interesting at this at this current stage. So I don't, I will not say that we are going to turn around here, but it is more likely that we are going to rally back towards the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly a 4.34. Stochastic is, uh, turn up, is bullish, MACD is bearish, and the RSI is bullish as well. We have tested the 200 moving average. We have rallied from that point. We did take out the highs of, uh, of uh, on Thursday here which means that we could be heading back towards the middle of the bullish band. And that's a rally of, yes, quite a 0 0.2, um, um, give or take. So let's look at gold. So gold is struggling. It is struggling here at the 50 moving average or 20 simple moving average in the middle of the bullish band. And at this point, it looks like a classic turnaround head back and retest the bottom here of roughly 16.82. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat. If we don't manage to break above the 50, get rejected here, then we are going to drop back down, drop below here, and then we could see this market drop all the way down to 16.1500 or probably even lower than that. So this is an area that will most likely at this point be retested in the next few weeks. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar here. It didn't even get close to the 20 exponential. Turned around, heading back towards the lows here of 22.50. So break below that, then the next target is all the way down here. So it's down at 18.44. MACD is bearish, sarcastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. We're approaching oversold conditions, so we may see this a rally at some point. Probably have a double bottom here and then rally as this is getting very low. So, Platinum. So, Platinum is also struggling at the 20 exponential. Uh, rally up towards that. 
get rejected, rejected, injected, and so on. At this point, it got very oversold and therefore it basically rallied. But we did not manage to take out the highs of the uh, Thursday session, so this is fairly weak. We could just turn around here and go lower. If we break below the candlestick here, which is the low zone, uh, then we may be heading towards 1900. Uh, stochastic and MACD is flat, stochastic is uh, bearish, and RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium really fell apart last week, and uh, we are trading at 22.66, and at this point, we're at uh, 21 in the RSI, and a rally at this point is kind of expected. Um, so Yes, what you can say about this. We're approaching the same levels as we saw last year, which was uh, massive support. 21, 80, 81. That is where we can see here, here, and here. So we were basically trading within this square for several months. The highs of 2506 and the lows of 21 point, yeah, 21. 81, give or take. So we're approaching that area, which should be massive support. And therefore, bounce towards the 300 moving average, which is roughly at the 24, 38 should be expected. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is very bearish and also significantly oversold. And we're also way outside of the bullish band. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium uh, also got rejected at 20 exponential. It is still holding its trend. So most of the other precious metals and commodities have basically broken their trend, but the aluminium is still holding its trend. 20, uh, 50 moving average is offering massive support, and then the top of the bullish band, wherever that goes, basically higher and higher. Trading at uh, 2544 at this point, and momentum is to the downside. So if we break below the 50 moving average, we could be dropping lower towards the 200, as we have seen for all the other metals. MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has also broken below the 50 moving average. It tried to rally and got rejected. And that is definitely not a good sign for nickel. So it has been, if you up here, had this very nice upward channel that we have been trading in for since basically basically uh, the beginning of April. And we have broken through that. So this could mean that we will drop towards the 200 moving average and break below that. Then the 300 moving average comes into play before getting back towards the 15, 16, 16,000. That's where we found massive support here. So as for most of the other metals, this kind of looks like it is changing direction and it's going to go down. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI, with still room left to the downside before it becomes oversold. So let's look at sugar. So sugar is uh, pulling back, and uh, usually it found support at the middle of the pulling band, which is at uh, 0.1898 at this current stage. So we're trading at the 0.1945, and the break below that, and the 50 moving average is down here at 0.1795. MACD is going probably going to cross the signal line uh, if it doesn't bounce from here. Stochastic has already, so so we may see a fairly big turnaround here in this market. Would it be surprised? Would be surprised if we go significantly lower than the 50 moving average, as we see this was also previous significant resistant. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has bounced off the 20 exponential. It is still holding the 20 exponential and as long as that is the case we will just continue going higher macd is uh, still bullish but it's about to cross the signal becoming bearish stochastic is bearish and so is the rsi rallies to the upside will mostly find major resistance at 0 0.9592 so let's look at cocoa so cocoa Yes, it does what Kakao usually does, and it has these massive rallies, as we saw here, and then it completely falls apart. We saw it also here, 
And uh, it was looking very interesting, but this got very, very overstretched. And um, Thursday and Friday, it completely fell apart. At the moment, it looks like we're going to test the, the 20 exponential, 25, 0, 2500. MACD is turning around, Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. If we break below the 200 moving average and the 50, then we are most likely going to head back to the very bottom of this range. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has also turned around. We can see that uh, we hit the very top here, which we also found massive resistant in the past. And now it looks like we're going to head back towards the 50 moving average. Down here at 683. MACD has crossed the signal line, becoming bearish. The, the um, stochastic is also bearish, and so is the RSI. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.